Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for October 21st, 2020. My goodness, my goodness, I know this is the Halloween season and things are a little bit spooky, but the market itself is just a little bit spooky right now as we wait and wait and wait for a possible deal on stimulus. As you probably know, Congress and the White House are continuing to talk. Apparently, the self-imposed deadline by Nancy Pelosi um, has passed and that doesn't seem to have mattered. They're still willing to talk. And they continue to say that progress is being made. However, they also continue to say that there are substantial differences between the two sides. We also have the question, should they come to an agreement whether or not the Senate is actually going to pass it? According to um, Mitch McConnell, um, Senate leader, there is some concern that there may not be uh, votes should that package come in at somewhere over $2 trillion. So we still have that uncertainty uh, to deal with even if they do come to an agreement. However, I suspect that we shall see um, some substantial volatility um, as news rolls out on this subject. So with that being said, what does that mean for this morning's market? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Pro video. This morning, looking at the futures, the futures are just kind of flat, confused. We have European markets now trading lower, and um, overnight Asian markets were kind of mixed. And we just have a lot of uncertainty here as to what comes next. One of the things we want to really focus in on when we have these kind of things is to take a look at the price action of the chart. Rather than betting on what a politician may or may not do, let's take a look at the chart and see what we can glean from that. And if we take a quick peek, we can see that we actually do have a downtrend playing out here in the market. But as I mentioned yesterday, that downtrend here in the Dow isn't so bad just yet because we're still clinging to uh, that support area in the chart. We're holding on, just kind of gripping onto that cliff where we could slip and drop toward um, our next price support level down here or somewhere in between there where we have our 50-day moving average. We'll look at that in just a second. We also want to recognize the fact that we have um, actually given up this uptrend uh, at least at the moment. We could certainly recover that pretty quickly should we get some kind of a deal. But right now that uncertainty is, is really palpable in the market. And I don't know whether the confidence is leaning toward or against a potential this morning with the futures in the now Dow now pointing to a possible downside move. So yesterday's sell off at the close left kind of some uncertainty and this morning's price action right now showing that bearishness is a little bit of a concern here for the overall market. So watch that closely. Here on our moving averages, notice that we still have a good level of price support in the technicals just below here. And we could easily see prices draw down into that as we wait um, for a, you know, some utterance. Now, the question will be if we get um, a, a good deal, if we get a, a deal that the market likes, we could see those bulls really begin to celebrate and bounce off of this price support level, really pushing in some um, upside move. We have to still break this little downtrend that's going on here, but um, that possibility does certainly exist. Unfortunately, though, if we were to fail, if we don't get a deal, we could really quickly damage the technical picture of this chart, putting in this this lower high uh, bearish uh, type pattern if we were to break down below that 50 day moving average. So traders are going to really have to stay on their toes here, stay very focused and flexible in the market. Try not to predict what the what these guys are going to do because should you be wrong, it could be very, very damaging to your account. 
watch that closely. Let's take a look at the SPY quick. SPY, very similar situation. We are still looking at that downtrend in the chart. We have a current little downtrend going on here, and we're quickly pushing down and approaching that 50-day moving average here in the chart and this price support. So far, bulls have held on to there, but once again, a failure to get a deal could certainly create some damaging price action in this chart. So be really careful. Um, try not to anticipate as to or guess it's just a coin flip as to whether or not they're going to come to an agreement or not let's take a look at the cues now the cues uh, suffered a little bit more of a blow here in the last couple of days and that being an antitrust lawsuit being filed by the department of justice against um, google and we have netflix earnings in yesterday that really disappointed so a little bit of a negative impact here on the QQQ overall. We'll have to see how that plays out the rest of the day. As you can see, a bit of a downtrend going on. We still have this little trend moving down, but we have price support right in this area, right above that 50-day moving average. So we haven't given that up yet, but you know, news events could certainly create that damage. So watch that closely in the chart then let's take a look at iwm now interestingly enough iwm has held up better than all the other indexes um, breaking up through this resistance in the chart which honestly i was kind of surprised to see it do um, holding up in there we're starting to see a little bit of life coming back into some of the financials and there was even a little tiny hint that um, oil sector stocks might rally just a little bit yesterday helping to move this up. I also think there may be a bit of a shift going on here. We may be seeing a little bit of a move out of um, large cap into and maybe favoring small cap for the potential of value that may be in those because uh, certainly the large caps, um, there's very little to no value in those companies because we've inflated those prices so far. However, small cap may offer up some value and we may be starting to see a bit of a slip over to or a shift over to some of those value uh, small cap type plays. So watch that carefully. There may be a story developing here on this. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX is... Uh, remaining perplexing, um, certainly. Um, we we have been um, stuck under uh, uh, around this 50-day moving average, holding us as support. We've been uh, capped here by the 200-day um, as resistance in the price action of the chart. Notice that we are starting to move up. Possibly a test of that 200-day moving average is possible. Should we get good news? Um, on the stimulus deal, we can maybe expect that to push back down once again toward that 50. Should we get some kind of a failure to reach an agreement, um, don't be too surprised that we could get a pretty substantial spike here in the VIX as that fear kind of comes in uh, to the market. Let's take a look at T2122. I got to tell you, T2122 has been one of the most reliable tools um, in this market with all of this crazy wild volatility. But notice today, it's not really helping us out much. We, we did rally substantially yesterday on that T2122, but notice we are just hovering um, around that midpoint here in this chart so what that means is we've opened up the possibility if we got a good stimulus deal and the market likes it we definitely have um, upside potential in in this chart it means we we could push substantially to the upside but it also indicates pretty clearly that we have a pretty substantial drop um, that could occur should they disappoint so watch that pretty closely. And it's kind of amazing. Here we are, um, a, a big push into earnings today, and yet we're still more focused on whether or not we're going to get deficit spending than pretty much anything else. So 
um, a lot of emotion around this. Be prepared for uh, some pretty violent moves, uh, depending on how that news comes out. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar um, does have a couple things we will want to make note of, but probably nothing that is particularly major today because every everything is focused on stimulus. If you notice, we have a, a parade of Fed speakers today. Um, all day long. I doubt we learn anything new from them, but we always want to pay attention to those Fed speakers because they can move the market should they say something that we're not expecting. And then keep in mind, we've got the petroleum status report today. That could certainly help us if we can show a decline in, in supplies there. Um, that could help help to lift that um, Russell index a little bit, providing a little bit of support there should we see um, a potential decline in supplies. However, if we see a rally or a boost in supplies, um, then that could also have a negative effect on that sector. So watch that closely. Later on today, we're going to have the beige book, but I doubt anyone pays much attention to that today. Um, let's keep in mind that as we prepare for the rest of the week, um, depending on whether or not we get a deal or not, this could be pretty critical on Thursday morning. If we don't have a deal uh, to maybe offset some of the concerns that may be coming into these jobless claims, um, that could create some volatility tomorrow, some damage in the market. So watch that close. With that, let's take a look at some of the earnings that we have today. And we have a considerable number of earnings today. Um, and if you want to get the full list of the notable reports today, you might want to um, click that link that's right below the title of the video to go to the morning blog. I have them listed um, in the morning blog. But let's take a look at just a few of those. One that we're going to want to pay attention to um, uh, later today, uh, Tesla will be reporting earnings today. Notice that Tesla has been struggling here just a little bit, pulling back toward that earnings report, which is odd. That's not typically the way we see uh, Tesla trade ahead of earnings. We usually get tremendous anticipation um, on that earnings report. But the good news is it is it, it is holding in a price support level here. So we'll want to watch that report. This has that potential to go either direction and could be one of those market movers uh, for the day. Take a look at Abbott Labs. Abbott Labs reporting today. And as you can see, it's indicating higher this morning. Got a little bit of a morning star type pattern here trying to form right off of this price support. Keep an eye on that Abbott Labs. This could be bullish if we can break through some resistance here in the chart. Um, we're also going to see uh, some um, earnings from CMG. Um, this afternoon, let's keep an eye on that. CMG trying to rally just a little bit this morning. I think their report is this afternoon anyway. And um, watch that price resistance as we push back up here on that chart. Uh, CMG could be one of those market movers. We have Key Bank reporting today. Looks like um, not much happening here, at least um, yet, in that price action. We had a bit of a shooting star. Uh, pattern yesterday right at price resistance and um, looking for some follow through there. We'll see if those earnings reports can inspire that or not in those financials. Um, we also have CSX um, a Railroad reporting today. Keep an eye on this. This had a nice bullish move yesterday heading into those earnings reports but pulled back toward the end of the day. Notice we have a bit of an uptrend going on in here and we're holding around that price support. So should we get that bullish report, we might see CSX CSX breaking on through, moving on higher. Take a look, LRCX. LRCX will be reporting today. Watch that one closely. It's been struggling around a price resistance level here. Needs a little bit of love to maybe push it on through. So keep a close eye on that. And let's do one more here. Um, uh, WHR will whirlpool. Whirlpool will be reporting today. Tongue twister this morning. Um, as you can see, it's been consolidating here after breaking through some price resistance in the chart. And we're testing some highs here from years ago in that chart with a nice little tight consolidation. So there is some interest in here. We want to keep an eye on that. This is a good strong divvy pair and one we might want to pay attention to if it gets a good strong report that may push on through to the upside. So keep a close eye on that.
Um, check that morning blog if you want to check out the rest of those uh, stocks that could be um, affected today by earnings reports. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that are setting up. You know, one of the things that um, we've been doing in right way options, we've been holding a couple of trades a little bit longer term. Um, because of the volatility of the market, that's been paying off quite well. And you can take a look right here. We're holding space. Space tried to make a move yesterday, kind of pulled back at the end of the day. I still like this chart. The, I will say that this is still a very speculative stock. But if we take a look, we're, we've made these breaks through resistance. So any rest or pullback back toward this trend, consolidation in here gives us that next opportunity for the next leg higher. So keep an eye on that pretty good looking chart. I really like this chart in LB as well. LB, we're seeing a lot of movement in um, retail stocks. And you can see LB pop through my alert here. Now, just a really like consolidating pullback here in the market. And we're holding on to this trend and we're holding just above this price support. Let's keep an eye on that. If that can gain some inspiration here today um, in the market, we may be able to catch that next leg higher here in LB. And I've got some price resistance levels marked in the chart, as you can see, for upside targets. But keep an eye on that chart. Um, McDonald's. McDonald's continues to set up, as you can see. We have that little volatility in the market, that uncertainty that's playing out right now we consolidated across here popped through pulled back and now we're setting right in here on this support level and upside potential trend keep an eye on mcdonald's we could find some inspiration in here and it could easily pop on through to the upside um set a, had an alert set here on this grwg and it alerted yesterday but then at the end of the day when the market pulled back and sold off it also pulled back keep an eye on this grwd nice little upside Side trend holding in here consolidating over toward that move holding this price support see if we can find that inspiration to maybe pop on out run up here and retest these highs and then maybe even see if we can break through to the upside as you guys know i am holding on to fcx i mentioned this yesterday fcx saw a little bit of love yesterday pushing back up and then this morning's move is also trying to push a little bit higher now this reports on the 22nd so I will in in the morning of the 22nd so I will be closing this trade by the end of the day just looking for a quick base hit heading into those earnings um, unfortunately I don't like to trade around earnings it's too much of a gamble for me um, so I will trade this up into those earnings reports and we have some news today there was um, some movement apparently on a potential trade agreement um, on Brexit and um, that has in pushed up the British pound. At the same time, it's pushing down the US dollar and we're seeing some movement in some of these metals. So we're getting a, a nice little pop here in FCX, but more importantly, we're getting a little bit of a boost here in GLD this morning. Keep an eye on that. Yeah, as current, there may be some ripples going through the currency market today um, as that British pound surges. Uh, on the potential of a trade deal. So watch that in here carefully. Um, we are breaking above this price resistance in the chart. Um, the other thing that can certainly affect this is if the US does decide to do a stimulus deal and we, we take our $27 trillion debt and we pump it up to uh, $29 trillion. Um, with a $2 trillion deficit spend. Watch that pretty closely because as we continue to deb debase the dollar with all of this money printing, we could see gold perk up there as well. So it's worth keeping an eye on that uh, chart. As you guys know, I'm also holding this Walmart trade and Walmart has been doing a little bit of back and forth here, consolidating over to the trend. Now that's perfect for me and I don't mind that at all as it's drifted on over here toward this trend. I wanna be watching this now to see if it can gain that inspiration to maybe push on through to the upside. I think there is a um, good potential as it really is taking on Amazon 
um, with their new membership program and and things that they're doing uh, with that company. So watch that close. Could have some pretty decent upside potential on the longer term. Watch that one close. Last but not least, um, Rightway Options, folks, we're holding this trade in NIO. I'm holding it as a covered call trade right now. That's working out really, really well. And some of the members of RWO traded this with a uh, bull put credit spread. Some traded this with a direct long call situation uh, trade uh, but right now it's looking really good and watching this as it continues to drift and consolidate here back over toward this trend um, NIO as you can see has a pretty strong propensity it, it moves in bursts it moves and then consolidates it moves and then consolidates so I would expect this to continue this little consolidating move right in here we'll want to watch that closely though because this can fire up or drift away pretty quickly so watch that close NIO continuing to look good for us here in RWO and um, maybe setting up for another upside move after a bit more rest in the chart so with that everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day if you guys could do me a favor um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon so that you could be notified every time i post one of these videos hey i want to let everyone know that i will be here tomorrow morning to do a uh, video but in the afternoon i have to have a bit of a well i've got to go in for a hernia surgery and um, so i will be out on friday there will not be a morning video on friday i apologize i I should be back at my desk Monday morning, um, um, assuming uh, no compl complications with the surgery. Um, but um, just to let you know, I'll probably be taking that Friday to just kind of recuperate a little bit from the surgery. Everyone, take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you all of the best of success today. Be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one.